Well, not like it's a huge amount of rolls, but you never know. Maybe I'll get an early KQ pet to roll. No, we don't. <laughs> Go M box, some bags. Oh, we get a Chaos Mummy scroll. Very, very useless. We already... Wait, no, actually... Mm -hmm. Did I already do my Chaos Mummy scrolls? Most definitely not. I don't need them, though, but... Just saving those five for when we eventually do a challenge mode for that shit. Yeah, okay. Just some loot out of the way. Man, oh man, this event giving me so much room coins with the blessings and the warrior boots from a crest and all of that. Boom, another full exchange. Easy as that. Love it. Absolutely love it. What the actual fuck, bro? Mister just got a one out of one Easter KQ pet in the group Iron Man. And Ty also got one before. So we now have two of the upgraded version in the group Iron Man. That's pretty crazy. Actually. Such a good pet. Alright, got a little bit of tokens again. Let's see if anything useful. Nope. Nothing out of the good ones. That's fine. A bit more free room coins, some bags and all of that stuff. A little scarf that's useless. And an M box Or five stairs rings. And another little inventory of cursed caskets. Ooh, we got a defender there. I don't even know if that's a collection log slot, but I don't think it is. No silent gloves number four on the account. Oh, we got some gilded play likes though. Hmm, interesting. Does it have any rune coin value? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. It's not completely useless then. All the other stuff isn't too great. 280 rune coins. We'll take it. We'll take it. And I think the uh, lava feathers are gonna stack up quite nicely over time. 6.5k in the bank. That's potentially a lot of lava keys, but I don't think I'll ever trade those in. Because that little area in the middle of it where you trade it in is dangerous as fuck. To the point where I... It's multi. It's multi. 55 worth. 45 wildy or some shit and multi. There's no way. If I, if I go there and a team shows up, I'm dead, right? So I don't think I'll ever trade those in, sadly. But uh, the other items are stacking up nicely. Of course, I turn all the loose parts of the wards into full shields whenever I can. Like right there, we got one missing piece to make one. And then for the Odium one... Yeah, we're missing two different ones to create those, but that kind of stuff adds up nicely over time until we get a room coin exchange. I am noticing the emo. I'll go ahead and kill that for a change. I barely ever do emos nowadays. I need to pick up the slack because we're never going to complete the elite achievement at this rate, are we? I really, really, really want to do Terra. I genuinely do, but I'm so fucking addicted to the event right now. I at least want to hunt my fucking KQ pen and shit, but... Oh, I'm so behind on streams. I just need to fucking do it. Ugh. <sighs> There's just so much on my plate, so many, so many things I want to do in the game, and so little time. But like, out of everything I can do, you know, terror is always gonna be there. The event, not so much. The event has roughly 17 days remaining, I think, I think. Does you or uh, May have 31 days? Yeah. 17 days. Plus, it's my fucking birthday next week, Saturday, the 4th of June, so... That's uh, probably gonna be a weekend where I can barely play, if at all, so... Rough times. Alright, managed to accumulate 11 Scotiza totems this time around. Let's see if those 11 are the ones we need. Currently at 166 KC, just looking for the pet to get the collection log. But of course, sacred tokens and ancient shards for crest attempts would be very much appreciated. Let's see what we get from 11. Uh, didn't fit all 11 of them in one inventory, but on the first 8 we got 8 shards. Sweet Jesus, that's actually pretty good. Oh, and a double fucking onyx. Bro, I'm only just now realizing I wasn't using my drop rate for any of the kills. Jesus effing Christ, what am I even doing, bro? No wonder I can't get a pet like that. Only even with the drop rate bonus, I'm still only at 148%, so it's not that great, but... Better odds, at least, I guess. Like I'm focusing pretty much on like, keeping my friends. Whoops, let me pause what I'm watching <laughs> before I record. Whoops. Three sacred tokens on the final kill right there. That is not too bad. No pet from these 11, but we'll take what we can get. And three sacred tokens is always very welcome. I don't know how many ancient shots I had before I went there, so let's have a look. Might have been one. Yeah, we got nine. So that is sadly only one attempt. I'm one shard off of getting another one. You know what, let's grab the 2% dust as well, just in case. I want this shit to go off already, just to get rid of it. Because I feel like it's pretty fucking unreliable. Anyway, 
I think I'll enchant my last two, so I'm not expecting another successful one here. But I get it anyway, 5 out of 9, that is incredible. Grand Ring, thank you very much. No, but a mystery chest, as well as a uncut Xenite. And a mystery chest is not too shabby at all. Hey, for a non-key M chest, that is pretty good. Three Onyxes and stuff, look at that. One point, almost four, well, almost 5k. Damn, ain't too shabby at all, and the Xenite is of course out. You know what we're gonna do with a little Xenite. Yeah, y'all already know, time to fail another crystal. Mm -mm -mm. Scrum Diddly Umptious, number 48. Wow, I love this game. Alright. Well, I wanna do terror right now. I know, I know, I know. My uh, my food is arriving in less than an hour, and I feel like at this point, if I did it, I would have to waste like maybe even the last two kills, depending if, like, if they arrive early as well. I'll have to open the doorbell and have fucking dinner first, so we're just gonna do night terror tonight, do a little evening stream, no biggie. And then uh, tomorrow. tomorrow, I'll go to bed early tonight, wake up early, and just do a whole fucking day of terror. Promise. I'll do my best to sleep. Just gonna do a little bit of duo elite barrels to cap out the current cycle, which is barrels, for some easy tokens, because why not? And who knows, maybe we'll get a rare. I would kind of love to get the collection log for this. It's a good reward to get three crests, and on top of that, the collection log points would be nice. I will only record if we get a rare chest though, so don't expect too much. Alright, I just finished another wonderful, wonderful stream and we ended it with Cerberus. Even saw a Colossal on stream, which was pretty lit. Um, but since we Infernaled and Superior scrolled and all of that for it, I'm just going back there straight away to finish that off. Other than that though, we did some Night Terror for 3 hours. Saw 3 Easter M boxes, no mystery chests. Very, very sad on that one. And then we only saw one crest on top of the uh, five imbue stones. Filled all the stones. The crest gave warrior boots, which was nice. But other than that, a little bit disappointing altogether. But at least we did do some terror today as I wanted to. And then tomorrow, I really, really want to go hard at it. I'll do my very best. And uh, hopefully we can make it come true. All right, boys. We just seen ourselves another colossal. Hasn't even been that long since the previous one. Let's see what this bad boy gives us. Not even using the Spirit Scroll right now because it just wore off too. Kinda lucky. Alright, here we go, one more hit. Wish me luck. Uncut Onyx on Colossal number 21. Alright. I didn't drop my drop rate, but I need to put this right here so I don't forget. That's such a waste. So I suck at keeping promises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already 2 p.m. Haven't started night there yet because I was really busy today. My uh, birthday is coming up this weekend and I needed to uh, arrange some things for that. You know, make sure people are coming and that they know they should come, etc. And then I was recording a different server video this morning as well, so I didn't have the time to hop right into it. I figured, like, I wanted to, but I figured if I actually did do terror right off the bat after waking up, my responsibilities would just be delayed. And I would just start walking behind on the things I need to do, so get the worst out of the way first and then we can just uh, focus on runics again. Uh, just finished lunch, that was what I was waiting for and then uh, in a second here we'll cap and I'll go ahead and get ready for another stream. I will still do a chunky amount today though, might not be 10 hours like I had hoped yesterday, but at least, at least six hours, three hours right now and then another three in the evening, bare minimum. That's still a chunky amount of night terror for a single day as far as I'm concerned. Alright, good morning ladies and gentlemen. We had a very nice little stream uh, last night. All together in four hours, all I saw in my name was of course two crest pieces and a... Uh, no, it was just two crests, not that I think about it, just two crests and a few Easter M boxes and chests. Not even a good amount, just very little. But we did see some good uniques from the other uh, guys in the team. And most importantly, we got a five-man Inquisitor team together again. Now, we had done this in the past, but now it was actually working as intended. And it fucking slapped. As you guys saw, like, our, our PB was 3 minutes and 20 seconds at Nightmare. Like, bro, that is actually insane. 3 minutes and 20 seconds for a Night Terror kill, like bro. My solos are roughly 6 minutes, eh? But of course, you know, it's not something we can do on command, so to say, simply because finding a 5-man team where everyone is risking full Inquisitor, easier said than done. Hate to say it, but it is true. 
I would love to do it again because it's fucking insane. You're like 15 kills an hour, like bro, mental. But you know, might take a while before we ever see all five people available a second time. But yeah, this stream, I mean, a bit unlucky altogether. Four hours for two quests, no envious stones, no uniques, anything. So that's a little unlucky in that amount of kills, but. It's good enough, it's good enough. We also did a little bit of event hunting in the first one. And at the end of the second stream, we did a little bit of the Money Gorillas. I actually got a uh, doable master task, but it requires me to high elk three heavy ballistas. I already runecoid all of them in the past and I got no heavy frames left, so... I might have to start doing the Money Gorillas until, well, I get three heavy frames again. Then I can make those, complete that master and that will be two out of ten. I still got so many to go, but... You know, it's relatively doable, and as long as the matter task doesn't include something absolutely ridiculous, uh, or an item requirement I can't get, or something in the will lead, then I'll do my best to do them. So yeah, long enough of a recap, I just woke up, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of event hunting, just get my tokens up a bit. I think it's about damn time we start clearing this second chest, and uh, you know, try another KQ pet enchant. Well then, uh, my boy Lit Falento told me to come to a drainer bank, and was gonna give me some, uh, some $5 bonds. Four in total, $20. Uh, he won a shitload of money gambling, so he told me to come here and, uh, well, for that, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. All right, then, top of the morning to y'all. Um, just did a few free-to-play caps, and right now I want to do a little Hour of Terror. I do believe it is currently bossing hour. Yeah, well, at least for 40 more minutes. So we're gonna just do that because I'm currently capped anyway, and I just uh, want to try again. Hopefully a bit better RNG than yesterday, that would be lovely, but we'll see what happens. Well then, after getting absolutely nothing so far, it just switched into the Dragon Hour, so I'm gonna finish this kill and go do that instead. Yes, bit of a waste of Infernal and shit, uh, still got 20 minutes left, but I need these Dragon Hours, oh so desperately, so only finishing this kill. Didn't see any loot, that's why I didn't record the clips. I did record it, but I deleted every single one of them, because Terror still ain't dropping for me. Yay! Lovely! Alright, can we see a drop on the final kill? Maybe, just maybe? No, probably not. Oh, we do! Imbue stone, finally, about the fucking time. At least one little uh, lootation there. The reason I'm going to shop is because I'm actually really low on cannonballs. Gonna go straight into dragon juice and uncap scroll. Um, arguably wasteable, but since we... Oh, why would I buy 50? What? <laughs> by 10k. Um, yeah, just gonna make that so I can get the most tokens and use a spring elixir. Not the most useful since I don't have the... Uh, oh, what is it called? Fucking KQ pad yet, but whatever. I wanna rush it, so I'm gonna stop commentating now because it's taking too long. Alright, it just changed to bossing instead of dragons and that got us 40,000 tokens in an hour. Not awful, not great Eva, but the biggest thing I'm lacking right now is the KQ pad. That would give 25% token, that's literally an extra 10k tokens on top of what I already have. And obviously my gear isn't like completely optimized for uh, this kind of thing. Like I don't have a, well I don't know if Scythe would be better, but like Shazy and I for example, or even just having a Lava Slayer Helm, stuff like that, right? But uh, altogether not too bad at all for an hour of dragons. Yeah, that doesn't find it. Spring tokens, there we go. And we can... Uh, do a few more rolls. I still need quite a bit, but you never know, we might get lucky on the KQ. I haven't recorded most of my event things, because I don't find it that interesting, and I feel like it, you know, clutters up the video for very little to no actual content. Yeah, no KQ pet yet, but we do get a mystery ticket early on. 77,000 tokens to go. What do we get from that? Normal inbox, ew. Ew! Don't wanna see that. Alright, back at Night Terror for another hour, because it did become the bossing hour, figured I may as well get some extra tokens doing this. Obviously, doing like free-to-play capping is way better tokens directly, but we have so many terror goals, I may as well fucking do this. And uh, if we can get some M boxes and chests, that would just be like an additional W, extra tokens, and even more importantly, a bunch of rune coins. Uh, I'm really hoping I can get a Blood Phoenix soon from an epic pet box, whether that be from a promo, or a fucking from the event chest, or whatever it may be, maybe a colossal in the future. But I want to have that 100k uh, rune coin secured when we do, because that is the only one we are missing for the ultimate phoenix pet. And obviously the ultimate phoenix would be a, well, pretty big unlock for the account. Very, very good pet to have, and it will allow me to use it with uh, Blood Barrage as well for the additional boost. 
just altogether a great fucking pet to have, right? So that is another thing I would like to scratch off my list if possible. But we have quite a bit to go for that. Hopefully we can see some Imbu stones during the hour. That would be a lovely additional, uh, additional gains right there. And then of course we still have to enchant them, which is like the difficult part. Oh, man, the fucking spring tokens went to the floor, are you kidding me? Teleported out instantly, so I left 560 tokens on the floor, that sucks. Didn't eat during the- oh, never mind, it's still there. I panicked over nothing. Hey, Grand Crest, absolutely beautiful. You'll love to see it. Uh, KQ is spawning in a second though, so I better do that first. Oh, well, Crest. Tried to predict the Lies little Terror Orb, but I was wrong. 